What did you get for Christmas? Say nothing. <laughs> I don't know what Christmas is. All right, you can go back to sleep. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody had a great holiday and I'm a little nervous. I've never done a video like this before. Before I start, I'd just like to say a couple things. Um, I understand that some people can think that what I got for Christmas hauls can be a little bit show-offy and a little bit braggy. I would like to go ahead and say that like, yes, I'm very blessed. I have a large family and most of those people in my family are very supportive of me artistically but it's gonna look like I got a lot however most of this was actually purchased with gift cards on the day after Christmas so everything was 50 to 70 percent off so I just wanted to start with that but to continue again there are many many people that are not as blessed as I have been growing up so today I'd like to shed light on a nonprofit organization that you've probably heard of called the Boys and Girls Club of America. The Boys and Girls Club of America is a nonprofit organization seeking to give younger people opportunities to explore different facets of life after school and one of those areas happens to be art classes and art related activities available to kids from all backgrounds after school in their free time. So today I'd like to show you a link in the description of how you could help the Boys and Girls Club of America by donating as little as five dollars just to help out a kid who may not otherwise have the resources or come from a background where they have exposure to things such as art supplies and art classes. Moving on, let's see what I got for Christmas in 2019. So I think I'm gonna leave the bigger stuff for last. Yeah, we'll do that. So I'm gonna put this down here. So I wanted to start with some things that my cousins bought me, which definitely let me know that you guys watch my videos, so thank you. I got acrylic white and black gesso, which is invaluable to every single painter. So I'm very excited about that. Thank you guys. And they also got me black and white acrylic paint. Another thing that my beautiful cousin got me, she said she watched my video like three times to try to figure out what to get me, and she ended up getting me something that I really, really love. I said to get artists fun colors that they normally wouldn't purchase for themselves, and she got me three gorgeous colors. She got me fluorescent pink. These are all oils, by the way. She got me fluorescent pink. I think this is a sky blue. I'm not sure what the deal is with the silver packaging on here. This is Master's Touch, by the way. That's Hobby Lobby's like store brand. So if you know what the silver packaging means on the oil paints, let me know. Again, this one's sky blue. And then the last one she got me was cadmium green, which is a really vivid, beautiful green. It's similar to sap green, but it's just a little bit different. So I love these and I'm so excited to use them. Thank you so much, Kennedy. So the next art supplies that I got, we did get them after Christmas. We got them, I think, two days after Christmas. We went to the Jerry's Artorama in downtown Nashville, and I had never been to a Jerry's before, and it was a life-changing experience. I loved it so much. So me and my mom went, and she ended up getting me um, a few things. Sorry, they rubber banded it together. I wanna say while I'm doing this that Jerry's is like so much cheaper than Michael's or Blick or anything like that. So if you have a Jerry's near you, I would definitely recommend going. So my mom got me two oil brushes. One's a flat and one is a filbert. Let's see if I can be a booty guru. They were super cheap. They were, I think $4 a piece. And then she got me two white charcoal pencils. I use these whenever I do like darker paintings. I won't start with a white canvas. I start with a black canvas. If you're an artist, you know that. I'm sorry to patronize you, but when I have the fully black canvas, I'll sketch on there what I want to paint with white charcoal pencils. So they're super useful. And of course you can't go to Jerry's, or at least I couldn't, without buying a few tubes of paint. So as far as oils, we got my first actual name brand Gamblin, um, like the the good series, not their 1980 series. Um, I know I preach that you should only buy Gamblin because they're so good, and it's true, they are good, but I'm not rich enough to afford them most of the time. But this time, I went for the Radiant line, and I got Radiant Magenta, and I've heard such good things about this color from Happy D Artists that I cannot wait to use it in my own work. Next, I grabbed a Winton. This is Cadmium Lemon, which is Lena Danya's. One of her, like, main yellows, I think, is a Cadmium Lemon, so... I wanted to try it. Um, Winton is kind of the knockoff Windsor and Newton oil paints. I've used this 
Winton for years and years and I think that it's perfectly acceptable. I think it's just as good as Winsor & Newton. So I was super excited about this. This was about $4 for 1.25 ounces of paint. It's a really, really good deal if you compare that to like Michaels or something. And then I did grab an acrylic. I grabbed a Liquitex Heavy Body, which I'm trying to just use Heavy Body at this point because you can literally use one coat of this versus like 16 coats of the Liquitex Basics. This is Liquitex Medium Magenta. They were all out of Quinacridone Magenta, which sucked, but Medium Magenta, it's gonna have to do. I'm so excited to use it. I'm making a mess. The last thing that I got from Jerry, oh wait, I didn't put the bag. But this is a primed birch panel cradled. So it's got like a backing to it. And it's the ultra smooth gesso panel. And I am so excited to put an ultra slick looking design on here and see how it is to work with. So the next round of things that I bought, these were all bought with gift cards at either Hobby Lobby or Michaels. So if you got me one of those gift cards, thank you very much. Of course, it's gonna look like I got like $300 worth of gift cards. I did not. There were excellent sales and excellent coupons going on at both Michaels and Hobby Lobby the day that I bought this. So. Everybody just calm down, have several seats. So I'm gonna start with Hobby Lobby because I honestly didn't get a lot there. I don't, I'm kind of on the fence on Hobby Lobby. Let me know how you feel about them. I know they've had some like controversies in the past with how they deal with health insurance, but as far as their products, they just don't have the same selection that Michaels has and you know, it's whatever, but I still got some good stuff. So these were all 50% off. These are the Masters Touch um, acrylic and watercolor brushes. I'm still gonna use them with oils just as much as I'm gonna use them with acrylics. I got a really tiny filbert. Oh, they're all filberts. Yeah, I got three filberts, yay, woo! The next things that I got from Hobby Lobby, which I wish I had just waited and bought from Jerry's because they would have been a lot cheaper, but I didn't, I had a gift card, so it was technically free, Cassie, shut up. So I got this itty bitty baby thing of Gambar, which is Gamblin's gloss varnish, and everybody says they love it. I'm hoping that this little bottle will stretch pretty far. Normally I use Krylon like spray, varnish and I've never used this. I'm excited to try it though. So this was good. This was $14.95 and I had a gift card. So I probably used a 40% off coupon with this as well. So the next thing that I got, which I am excited about, this is a Liquitex glazing medium. I have the blending medium and I've never tried this glazing medium and I'm super excited about this. This was $16.99 and it was full price and I bought it with a gift card and you know what? Now I have it, so yeah. The next thing that I bought that I say I never remember and to be honest, I didn't remember. I had to go back two days after Christmas and buy this is transfer paper. They didn't have a name brand like book of transfer paper. This is all I could find. This is a graphite uh, 9 by 13 and it is 20 sheets so that's kind of a lot. You use each one of these sheets like many many times in a row. If you use one of these and you throw them away like what's wrong with you? I'm gonna smack you. I'm hoping that they work okay since they're Hobby Lobby brand, but we'll see. I mean, still, I bought it with a gift card. It's all good. And the last thing that I'm really, really excited about that I got from Hobby Lobby is this acrylic paper, 10 sheets, and it is 246 pounds per 400 sheets. In my other videos, which you should go check out, I did an artist haul and uh, what to buy an artist for Christmas. Um, I do say that you should get at least 140 pound paper. Um, and what that is, is if I had 400 sheets of this paper, it would weigh 140 pounds. This, as I said, is 246 pounds. So this is some serious painting paper right here. I'm so excited to use this. Okay, I lied, there was more from Hobby Lobby. So I got two of these. These are the Classic Collection Artist Canvas in 14 by 18. These ended up being $5 a piece and I bought them with a gift card and I got two of them. There's another one in here. So these are really nicely primed, just normal canvases and I'm excited about these. I'm excited about everything, shut up. Okay, so the next batch of stuff I'm gonna show you I got with a gift card <laughs> from Michaels. It was all on sale and I used a coupon. So we'll start with the Liquitex Heavy Bodies that I picked up there and I got four colors I got cadmium oh I got cadmium free so this is non-toxic yellow medium which is good 
I got sap green, which is an essential. I've said that so many times. I got a brilliant purple, which I've never used before, but I have trouble mixing really vibrant purples, so I grabbed this little guy. And I got a Prussian blue, which in my opinion, ultramarine blue is a little bit on the redder side, and Prussian blue is just a good medium deep blue, so we got this guy. Next, onto the oils. So I got three tubes of Gamblin. This is the 1980 series. I got dioxazine purple. Again, I have trouble mixing purples that are vibrant enough, so dioxazine purple, turquoise, phthalo blue. It's phthalo, but some people say pathalo, and I think it's funny, so I got phthalo blue. And then, ooh, I got a big thing. I got myself this thing, and it was literally $5, and I'm so happy about it. I got myself a little, it's big. It's really big. Ugh, let's see if I can fit it in the frame. I cannot. It's got like bands, so you just clip your artwork to it and it's for the paper. So I can just tear a sheet off of this boy and I can attach it to this and I don't have to risk ruining the entire pad of paper. So I can basically take this thing all over the house and I'm not gonna get paint everywhere and it's gonna be a gay old time. I'm happy about this thing. So big ticket items. These are things that my husband bought me and I love him and we're just gonna, let's just jump into it. So first, and you're gonna be like, wow, this wasn't that exciting. He got me an artist apron. So this is just a solid black canvas smock apron and I can't wait to ruin it. He got this off of Amazon. I don't know anything else about it. And the next thing that he got me is this beautiful LED lamp. It's a floor lamp that I can move around in my studio so that I can see the areas of the canvas that I'm trying to paint, little details and stuff like that. And I can paint a lot easier at night because right now I'm using mostly natural light. So this is super useful and I love it. And then, drum roll please. He got me the Wacom Intuos 3 with Bluetooth and it's the mint green one. <laughs> It's called pistachio, which is so funny because he had no idea that he was ordering this color, but I don't care. I love it. I'm so excited. I've been using a monoprice pad for probably seven years now, and every time it messes up, I have to call monoprice, and they like deny that they ever made that model. It's that old. So I'm so, so, so excited to do some digital art with this guy. I can't wait to see the difference in quality just with the pen and the pen pressure. This is, this is just, this makes me so happy. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all I got <laughs> for Christmas this year. Thank you to everybody in my family who bought me stuff, because you guys are awesome, and all this stuff is gonna make me so happy, and I'm gonna get such amazing work done with all of it, and I just, I really appreciate it. These were all really thoughtful gifts, especially the ones that I bought myself with gift cards. <laughs> So make sure you're subscribed to me. Make sure you hit that like button if you like videos like this and you want more of them. If you dislike this video, um, I don't care. I'm just going to keep making them. Loose Leaf episode 2 will be posted on January 10th. So if you're trying to read along with us so you know what the heck we're talking about, make sure that you pick up The Girl in the Tower by Katherine Arden either on Kindle or go into Barnes & Noble. Just get the book and read it. It's going to be fun, guys. Hope everybody has a great new year, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.